So today, everyone, we're going to learn how to solve equations by completing the square. All right, so what do we say when we are counting? We go one, two, three. Ah, ah, ah. So in honor of one of my favorite characters of a show that will remain nameless because I don't want there to be any copyright infringement, if you don't know what ah, ah, ah means, then... You did not watch a certain show on a certain street that deals with types of buns with McDonald's. I think that's about as good a clue I can give. All right. All right, so here we go. Guys, solve equations by doing what? Completing the square. So on this one, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you guys to put this guy in your journal. If you cannot see that, it is x squared minus 4x plus a 4 equals a 2x, all right? Now, bless you, I had a person who sneezed, we'll, we'll bless them, all right? Now, it says our equation should look like this, or like this, all right? So what we're doing, it looks like what we have is we've got an x value plus an a value, or an x value minus a c value, but it's equal to some constant of a number, like a b or a d. It's just some constant. So that's what we got to get it to. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to move over here to the right. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. First step that I would like you to do. I already have students yawning. That's okay. They're getting ready to go on spring break. Here we go. Ready? Take away a 2x and take away a 2x on both sides. Uh, uh. All right. Now, what do we have? What do we have left if we do that, guys? We have what? X squared. What happens when, what does this become? Negative 6X plus 4 equals 0. Very nice, very nice. Now, do you see that positive 4 right there? What I'm going to do with you, I'm going to take that away from both sides. When I take that away from both sides, I'm left with x squared minus 6x, I'm going to put a little empty space right here, equals negative 4, and I'm going to put another empty space right there, because this is where we're going to complete the square. Now, if you don't know how to complete the square, then you're watching the wrong video, because all these students here know how to complete the square, so we're not going to do the long way. We're going to say, what's half of that number right there? What's half? Negative three. What's negative three times negative three? Positive nine. That's right. Positive nine. Very good. Because a negative times a negative is a positive. All right. Oh, man, if you could hear all the things I hear every day, you would just smile. All right. You would just smile. So, guys, does anybody know? I'm going to highlight this baby right here in this beautiful green-ish color. Does anybody know how to factor that? Looking, scanning, scanning. I'll, put, I'll give you it. It's something squared. Yes, x minus 3. Very good. x minus 3 squared equals, and then when we add these babies together, what do we get? We get 5. All right, we get 5. Does anybody know the next step? I'll give you a hint. Yes, very good. We take the square root of both sides. Ah, ah, ah. And what happens underneath here? It becomes x minus a 3 equals, but this is where people will forget. It's actually a plus or a minus practical 5. If you think I'm crazy, you are right. So. Anybody know the last and final step that I, all I got to do is one more step, one more step? Almost, not, yes, add three to both sides. Add three to this guy and add three to this guy. So my value of x will equal a plus or a minus a radical five plus a three. But you could also see three plus or minus a radical five. Now, technically, this 
is the better way of writing it. I'll explain why. It'll make sense. <laughs> Ready? This is going to make sense. This number's rational. This number's irrational. And as mathematicians, what we like to do is we like to put the rational numbers up front and keep the irrational numbers in the back. It's only funny for you. It's, uh, come on, it's funny. It's like it makes sense. It does. It's like, hey, if you're an irrational person, just stay in the back. All right, let the rational people come to the front. Irrational people stay in the the back. All right, so we, this is my this is the answer I'm looking for. Three plus one. Now, what do you guys think the answer is? A, B, C, or D? We have rationals in the back. Oh, but D, right? See, there's a three plus or minus. We're going to choose. We'll choose D. You know, we're just going to choose D. It's going to be funny if we got it wrong. <laughs> oh, 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 hold on. My bad. My bad. Hold on. I have it. I have this. I have it. It's this right here. It's X minus three squared equals five. So, guys, right here, I'll write it one more time. What's going to go in this box is X minus three squared that's supposed to be a squared equals a five so that's what goes in the, the first box i got to go back over to my desk so I, I can't type that in from here right walking over there all right all right so we're going to put parentheses x minus three Close parentheses, and then we got to square that. And one second, and then we do what? Plus. Oh wait, equals. Equals what? Five. All right. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. Now I got to figure out how to pause. Did I, did I pause my video? What's going on? No, it's still recording. I don't. <laughs> I don't know how to pause. I'm trying to pause, people. I think we were. Oh, there it is. See, it's going. Yeah. Oh, shit. Sorry, I had to pause the video there. Now we're going to go back to our next question right there. Okay, here we go. Let's write this one down. We're going to just, we'll do, we'll do a couple. All right, we'll do a couple. Then I'll give you guys a shot at this. All right. Like, I need more than just a couple. So we're going to write that down first. All right. If you can't see it. I'm going to write it a little bit bigger. We got x squared minus 51 equals 14x. Just like that. Just write it down. Nice and neat. I wish that I could just pause this video a lot faster. There. Okay, good. I can pause it like that. Okay, I see that. I had to figure out how to pause it. Now, guys, we got to get this negative 51 over here and we got to get this positive 14x over here so without doing a whole bunch of a lot of math whenever you move something across the equal sign it always becomes the opposite so watch i'm just going to rewrite it da, 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 minus 14x you're like what the heck are you doing because if that's a positive 14 that becomes a negative 14. now i'm going to put plus an empty box equals a 51 plus an empty box so I don't know, I'm going to pause real quick with my students to make sure they understood what I did. Basically, all I did was I took away 14x from this side, and I added 51 for both sides. And this is what it would look like. So write that down as so. I'm going to pause. So now, what is half that number right there? What's half that guy? Negative 7, right? So we take half of him, and what do we have to do? We have to square him, and that gets us a... 49 here that gets to say what 49 right there so you always take remember this is the b value you take half the b value and you square it okay now what does this guy i'm going to highlight him all right and i'm really enjoying my pen right now because it hasn't jacked up like a football bat so far so that's good all right oh i know thank you for knocking on wood now what does this guy factor to x minus seven squared equals it looks like what a hundred so guys you see this part right here that part right there is going to go in right here 
okay? So this part goes in right here. So understand, this is one of those assignments that you just can't type things into, I don't know, a calculator and just press enter. You got to like get it to a certain form. You got to be able to work it to a simpler form. Now, the next thing we're going to choose one of these answers. Okay, so here we go. If I have x minus 7, and that's being squared, and that equals 100, what's my next step? That's right. This is where we got to take the square root of both sides. What comes out of this? An x minus 7, but what, what do we have to put? That's right, plus or minus 10. It's got to be a what? A plus or a minus 10. And last but not least, we have one final step that we have to do to solve for x. Just add a what? Add a 7 to both sides. So x equals plus or minus 10 plus a 7. I know that's not super, super bright, but hopefully you can see that on this nice black board screen. All right, so, oh, oh yes, or we could do what? 7 plus or minus 10. So if we were to work this out, what's 7 plus 10? 17, 7 minus 10 is negative 3. So as a solution set, that's what it would, that's what it would look like as a solution set, where you do 7 minus 10 and 7 plus 10. But up here, it's 7 plus or minus 10, so I'm going to choose answer choice C. Okay. Do, 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 do. I, oh, I got to go over there and type it in. All right, it was, I believe it was x minus 7 squared equals 100, parentheses, x minus 7, close parentheses. Where's the old squared? But there it is. Squared, then I got to go equals 100. Nailed it. Okay, so guys... You guys go ahead. Hey, go ahead and try this on your own. If you want to keep watching, you can. I am not going to force you to take any more notes right now. You can try this guy on your own, but if you, I'm going to keep going. So my students will just kind of do what they want. Either they're going to do it on their own or they're going to keep watching and get ready for the assignment. So there we go. I'm going to go over this one a little bit faster because you can always pause me and rewind me if you're watching this. If you're in class, you just can't shut me up. But here, you can totally shut me up. You can pause me as much as you want. You can say horrible things to me, and I won't hear you. All right? So, now, what I'm going to do with this guy, that negative x squared, I'm going to throw him across the equal sign and make him a positive x squared. I'm going to keep the 12x right there. I'm going to put an empty box, and I'm going to set it equal to 13 plus an empty box. Now, that's the short, that's the short way. Here's the more traditional way. If you're like, I have no idea what you just did. So I have 12x equals 13 minus x squared. So all I did was I added an x squared to this side, and I added an x squared to this side, but these don't combine. So I got to leave it x squared plus 12x. Then I just threw in my empty box for the completing the square. I kept the 13 over here because this is my c value that I'm going to be finding, and this is my c value right here that I'm going to be finding. So then we take a look at the b value. And that b value is 12, so all i got to do is take half that baby and square it. What's half of 12? Boom, 6. What's 6 squared? 36. So I put 36 in both boxes, just like that. Okay. Once you get it here, all you got to do is factor this guy. Now, there is a pattern. I don't know if you guys noticed this pattern. Okay. But I'm going to write down the factors and see if you understand the pattern. It's x plus 6 squared equals... 49. Now these add together to equal 49. But if I go back, check it out. What's half of negative 14? Negative 7. What's half of, oh wait, hold on, got to move it over here. What's half of negative 6? Negative 3. What is half of 12? 6. So it's always going to be half. It's really easy to factor. Like once you complete the square, you know that this just factors to this perfect square. Now, what am I going to do with this guy? This is one of my answers. So one of my answers right here, I'm going to rewrite as x plus 6 squared equals 49. That's one of my 
answers. So that's one of my answers. The other one I'll, I'll work out for the rest. Do, 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 do. So I got x plus 6. It's being squared. It equals a 49. And everybody in this class knows, well, they should know, to take the square root of both sides. Now, there might be a student that doesn't know, but I'm not going to call them out. <laughs> somebody, said, somebody said something funny, but I can't repeat it. All right, so x plus 6 equals, now what do we do right here? What are we going to make that guy? <gasps> plus or minus 7, that's right. Not just a positive, not just an, a plus or a minus 7. And here's my final and last step. Take away a 6. Take away a 6. Here's my final answer. Now, you could also write it, guys, as negative 6 plus or minus a 7. So I'm going to put or. It could be plus or minus 7 minus a 6 or negative 6 plus or minus a 7. Now, if they asked you, what's the solution set? The solution set would be negative 13 and 1, because negative 6 plus 7 is a 1, and negative 6 minus 7 is negative 13. And voila, there we go. So what am I looking for? Negative 6 plus or minus 7. Ooh, there it is, C. I, by the way, all the answers aren't C, okay? So i, I got to type in this, and i got to type in this. And this is the last one I'm doing because I'm just starting to get repetitive here. So that's what my son and daughter say. I'm starting to get repetitive, Dad. So can you just, like, I already heard you like the first time. So you don't have to keep telling me. X plus 6, close parentheses, squared, equals, I think it was 49. 49? And then I think the answer choice was C, is what we said it was. I hope I'm right. Nailed it. All right. So, guys, if you guys have questions, just let me know, and I will do your problem on the board. All right. You got one? Need one? Go ahead. I'm just, I'm just doing some random problem. All right. Go ahead. Tell me what it is. I got the recording. Still going. What you got? Zero equals x squared plus 4x plus 1. Okay, so think of it this way. This is e you could you could also say this is equal to zero, like that. That's one way of looking at it. Okay. Now take this positive one. Whoa! I have no idea what just happened. That was awesome, though. I'm just gonna leave it. So just throw it across. So we have x squared plus four x plus empty box equals a negative one plus n empty box. Okay. What's half that baby? 2 squared is 4, so we're going to put a what? We're going to put a 4 right there, and we're going to put a 4 right there. So we have x plus 2 squared equals a 3. All right? x plus 2 squared equals 3, so that's your first, that's your first answer. All right? So that's your first answer. Now, if we were to do the second part, all right? I'm going to put it right up here. Dum, dum, da, dum, dum, da, dum, dum, da, dum. This is where we got to take the old radical, right, of both sides, and we get x plus 2 equals plus or minus radical 3, and then we have to take away a 2 from this side, and we have to take away a 2 from this side, but the answer that will be for you on the Khan Academy is negative 2 plus or minus radical 3, because you got to put the rational numbers in the front and the irrational numbers in the back. So there's yours. You got one? All right. You got a good? All right. I'm going to go to next, next page. Watch this. Go ahead. Watch the master. 3 plus x equals x squared plus 3x. Okay, good. Now what we're going to do, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to keep the 3 here. Just keep it right there. We're just going to take away an x and we're going to take away an x. And when we do that, we get 2x. So we have x squared plus 2x. I'm going to put an empty box for my C value equals 3 plus an empty box for my C value. Okay? So all I did was just take away an X from both sides. So what's half that number? All right? 1 times 1 is 1. So we put a 1 there and a 1 there. This guy factors to X plus 1 squared. 3 plus 1 is 4. That's one of your answers. Okay? So that's one of your answers. 
All right. So if I were to finish solving it, what do I have to do to both sides? Take the old square root of both sides. So you have x plus 1 equals plus or minus 2. Take away a 1. Take away 1. But the Khan Academy, you're going to see it as negative 1 plus or minus 2 as the multiple choice answer. Man, I'm getting good at these. I'll go ahead and pause. So I have one student. All right, they had x squared minus 6x minus 16 equals 0. So the first thing we're going to do is we've got the empty space here. I don't know why, why that happened, but it still looks cool. We're going to move this guy across, which makes it a 16 plus another empty box. What number's got to go in here? What's half that guy? Negative 3. What's negative 3 times negative 3? Positive 9. So we got to put a positive 9 here and a positive 9 there. That's your C value. All right, so how do you factor this baby? It's just x minus 3 squared equals 16 plus 9, which is 25. So that's what you would type in to your little response. All right. Scanning the room for people who need help. Cause... All right, pausing it.